Today, I want to share with you five macro photography tips that I wish I would have known when I started my macro photography. My name is Janice Sullivan and I am the founder of the Creative Mentorship Program. This is a program for macro, landscape, and nature photographers to express themselves and to move forward to their goal sets faster than doing it alone. Number one, understanding what your aperture does. For macro photography, the aperture is everything. But when you're first starting off, you want to push that aperture to f32 or f22 because you think you're going to get more in focus and it seems like that so i truly wish that i would have understood and played with aperture f8 and learn how to baby stack my images right from the get-go the reason why is because you can get a sharp subject in your frame so much easier by using F8 and taking a couple pictures and putting them together and making that sharper than pushing it to F22. And just because I am a macro woman and love macros stacking, check out this video here where we start you on stacking your photography. Number two learning the histogram so much in the beginning of my photography career all i did was look at the back of my camera to see oh that looks good and not paying attention to the histogram the histogram is everything it tells you if your picture is too dark or too bright or perfect and it to learn the histogram is the ticket. It really is the one that can tell you what you need to put in your camera to make that exposure perfect. And yep, I have a video for you on histograms and it even takes you further than just the normal histogram because we talk about color too. So if you ever worked on macro photography with reds and greens and all those really vibrant colors that I like, you're gonna have issues. So check that video out if you wanna dive into histograms more. Number three, composition. See, when I was first really getting into macro photography, I was so excited about getting in close that I never really thought about composition. I was doing landscape. I don't know about you guys, but landscape's kind of easier. You got that foreground, middle ground, and background. Well, guess what? So does macro photography. You just have to think of it differently in a small scale. So you really do need to think about the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. Even if you have a flat flower, it still has the front of the flower, the middle part, and towards the end. So when you want to think about composition, that does make a difference. It makes it more of a 3D feel. But I have to say the number one compositional element, and I don't care what anybody says, is the rule of thirds. And I've said this before, and I'm going to say it again. The reason why the rule of thirds is the ticket, especially when you're first starting off, is it takes our eyes off of the center. And if you're going to look at a picture that has a centered focal point, that's boring. I'm sorry, but we see things every day in the middle. So take us off of that middle and get us excited to see something different. And you always hear, yeah, but you can break it later or whatever. I don't care. Sometimes I don't even want to break it because it works. Just make it more creative. Number four, adding extension tubes. I wish I would have started a lot earlier putting extension tubes onto my camera with my macro lens. In the beginning, when you're first starting off, the 100 millimeter is the easiest. But when you get a macro lens, the one to one ratio means that when you take a picture, that subject size is the same size in the sensor. 
which is so cool. You can't do that unless you have a macro lens. It's exciting to have something that you can photograph and have it the same size in your sensor because when you print, it's nice and big and it's large, but we as macro photographers love to get up close and I truly want even to get closer. I do wish I would have started a lot earlier because what happened was I would take the picture of a water drop or something really cool and then as I cropped I got more excited because I could see more of the water drop or whatever my subject was I could really see close to it and for me it was very exciting and I'm sure you will feel the same way if you like this kind of photography. If you're starting off right now just get a 25 millimeter extension tube and start playing. It's a lot of fun. Let me know down in the comments, is there a tool or a way of photographing that you wish you would have learned earlier in your photography life? Number five is light. I mean, light is photography. That's how it's made. But I want you to think about this a little differently. As macro photographers, we do need light the closer we get to our subject. We just lose light. That's just part of what we do. I always thought to myself, I had to have the perfect flash. I had to have the perfect equipment to make everything work. And you know what? I didn't. I wasted so much time when I could have just gotten a lamp and brought it into the area that I was photographing or taking a flashlight and using a flashlight outdoors when I needed some more light on the subject, but I didn't. What I did was I made tons of macro photography with a very shallow depth of field because I needed that extra light and I needed that aperture opening. Now I can do whatever I want because I've learned the concept of lighting my subject. And the only way you could do this is by, yes, yeah, some of the YouTube videos that I have for you on flash strobes. And I wasted so much time on not really understanding the light. And now that I've really honed in on it, which I wish I would have focused more on macro lighting, I would have been more creative and had a better experience making the work that I love to do nowadays. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share it with your macro friends because this is a place where we really dive into creativity. This is pushing yourself beyond just the snapshot. All right, remember that your thousand words does make a difference. Cheers.